Now we're going to talk about federal unemployment tax returns. So the form to calculate your annual FUTA tax is called the Form 940, Annual FUTA Tax Return. And because it says annual, that just means we're going to do this form once a year. And it's prepared at the end of the calendar year, and it's going to report the amounts of FUTA tax that you need to pay for the year. So in class, we're going to hand out the Form 940, page 1 and 2, and then a worksheet which summarizes the payroll registers for the fourth quarter of a fictitious company. So you're going to learn more if you actually print out these pages from the slides. Remember, you have access to the PowerPoint on Canvas. So if you do these by hand as we go through this, you're going to learn a lot more. So here's a page one of the form 940. And there's page two. So again, go on and print those out from the PowerPoint on Canvas. And we will also need this information. This is a worksheet summarizing the payroll registers for the fourth quarter of travelwithus.com. So we're going to start at the top of the form. And notice it wants the EIN, the Employer Identification Number. And we have that on the summary of the fourth quarter's payroll registers. EIN is 58121-3479. The name is going to be Catherine Kurtz. And the trade name is the name of the company. And we also have the address information, 10 Lovett Road in Salem, Massachusetts, 01970. So that's pretty easy to fill out. Now let's look at this box up here on the right. Type of return. So do any of these apply? So A says it's amended. Amended means that we've already filled out the 940 but now we're going to do it again, making a correction. So this is not an amended one. This is the first one. We've not made any errors. B is a, is a successor employer. That means one employer took over for another employer. That is not the case. C says no payments to employees in 2017. So notice in our summary of the payroll registers, we obviously are paying people. So that does not apply. And D says final, business closed or stopped paying wages. That does not apply either. Now we're on part one, lines 1A and 1B. The company paid state unemployment in one state only. So that's 1A. So we need to fill in the state abbreviation in 1A. which is MA, Massachusetts. Line two is not applicable. That will be discussed in the tax class. That is an advanced topic. So line three, total payments to all employees. So we're gonna use the summary of the fourth quarter's payroll registers to fill in line three. So what number do you think we're going to use for total payment to all employees? So my hint to you is a question. What time period does the Form 940 cover? Well, it's called Employer's Annual Federal Unemployment Tax Return. So this is an annual form. So it's the calendar year. So do we have any calendar year information on our summary of the fourth quarter's payroll registers that shows us how much we paid in gross wages to all of our employees. Yes, we do. Look down in the lower left. $308,647.68. So that's gross wages paid to our employees for the year. 
line four. It's not applicable either. This will be covered in the tax class, so we're going to ignore that. Line five, amount of gross earnings not taxable. So now a lot of students misread this. They're not asking for the taxable amount. They're asking for the amount that is not taxable. Total payment made to each employee in excess of 7,000. So remember, for FUDA, only the first $7,000 per year per employee is taxable by FUDA. So here they're asking for how much was in excess of 7,000. So do we have that information? Let's look at our information for our weekly summary of payroll registers. I do not see that information. So the answer is, unfortunately, no, we don't have that information there. So line five, the amount of gross earnings not taxable. Like we said, we do not have this information, but we can back into it. So if we knew how much was taxable, and we already know in line three how much we paid them to figure out the part that's not taxable is you just subtract from the total wages the amount that is taxable. So here's how we calculate line five. You take your gross earnings, which is line three, gross wages, and then you, then you subtract line seven, which is gross earnings taxable for FUDA. So our next task is to calculate line seven. How much was taxable for FUTA? So on our worksheet summary of payroll registers, is there a nice handy dandy column that shows taxable FUTA? There should be one, but there's not. So we're gonna to have to get the information some other way. Is there another way to calculate taxable FUTA? You might need a hint if you're not paying close attention. Here's your hint. The number of employees during the year was seven. And here's the key information too. Each employee made over $7,000 of gross earnings for the year. So all seven employees made more than $7,000 of gross wages. Therefore, they each have $7,000 taxable for FUTA. Seven employees times $7,000 taxable equals $35,000. So this is line seven, total taxable FUTA wages. So cool, now we've got 35,000 for line seven. Let's get rid of some of this stuff from the slide so we can see better. So now, we're going to calculate line not excuse me line five with this formula. So the formula is gross earnings, line three minus gross earnings taxable for FUDA, which is line seven. So what's three hundred eight thousand six hundred forty seven dollars and sixty eight cents minus thirty five thousand. So really, what we're doing is we're taking gross wages minus the portion that was taxable, line seven. That gives us the portion that was not taxable, line five. So here's how we calculate it. And we get $273,647.68. So that's the part of the gross wages that is not taxable. Now, if you add line five, not taxable, and line seven, taxable, you should get total payments to all employees, which is line three. Line six says to add line four and line five. Line four is blank, so it's gonna be the same as line five in this case. Line eight is the food attack. So go ahead and calculate. It's line seven times 0 .006. 0 .006 is the same as 0.6%. Once we do the math, we find out it's $210 of food tax.
Part three is not applicable. That will be covered in the tax class. It's an advanced topic. Line 12, total food attacks after adjustments. It says add lines 8, 9, 10, and 11. So when we add 8 through 11, we get $210. Line 13 it says food attacks deposited for the year, including overpayment applied from a prior year. Okay. Since they owe $210, and they only have to pay during the year if the amount is over $500. Only then do they have to pay during the year. So in other words, during the year, they only have to pay if FUDA tax is $500. And since this is the end of the year and it's only $210, they must not have paid any before. So we're going to assume that $0 was paid for a FUDA tax. Line 14, balance due. It says if line 12, $210, is more than line 13, zero, enter the excess on line 14. So 210 minus zero is $210. To fill out page two of the 940, it's pretty easy. Notice at the top it says part five. Report your food tax liability by quarter, but only if line 12 from page one is more than $500. So line 12 from page one of the form we're filling out was $210. Therefore, it says if it's not, go to part six. So in part six, we're just going to select no. And then in part seven, we're going to assign the owner's name, print the owner's name, print the owner's title, enter the best day time phone number, and we'll use the latest date possible for the date, January 31st, because that's when Form 940 is due.